Well, thanks everybody for joining us today. Uh, as Sean mentioned, I'm joined with Dave Rice. Uh, and we've got some really exciting stuff to show today. If you go to usa.canon.com, at the very top, you're going to see a search bar. And all you need to do is type in the model that you're looking for. So we're going to search for the Pro 2100. And when it brings up your printer, you'll just click on your model. From there, you will just scroll down. So a little bit of scrolling here. Scroll, come on, come on. <laughs> does not play well with others today let's see there we go you're going to scroll down until you see software and drivers when i click on software and drivers it's going to bring me to a point where i get to tell it which software or operating system i'm using most of the time especially with pcs with windows it's actually going to detect it with macs it will detect that it's a mac but it's going to require me to go over and click on the one that i'm using so i'm going to click on monterey and from there, you'll see all the various software options that you would just click on to download. And if you don't see the one you're looking for, you can hit load more and it will actually add the rest there. So it's literally that easy to actually just click and download your software and then just follow the install wizard on your backside of things to make sure that uh, everything's following through. We do check on, we do recommend checking, you know, pretty regularly just to make sure that you're running the latest versions of all of our software we do routinely update all of our software uh, to make sure bugs are fixed or add new uh, new features and things like that and we'll be talking about some of those new features today so uh, from there i am going to uh, let's see go back over here all right so now we're going to introduce free layout plus uh, this is a software that's going to give you some really great tools to be able to use in terms of printing, uh, very much like a rip in terms of being able to nest things and do other really cool things. It does work in conjunction with uh, Poster Artists and Poster Artists Online, which Dave will cover in terms of how to output to that as well. So without any further ado, I will turn it back over to Dave Rice for Free Layout Plus. All right, great. Thanks, Pete. Let me go ahead and start sharing my screen once again. Looks like you are, you can see me. Okay, great. So what I've done is I'm not gonna print all of these records. I, I wanna do really print too. So let's say for example, in this case, I wanna do a yard sign. So you, you can buy Coroplast and you can basically buy Coroplast in, in 24 inch uh, by 18 inch pre-cut sheets. You can get those from Home Depot, Lowe's, any place you can buy them online. They're, they're relatively inexpensive. So if I had a yard sale, uh, in this case, I want to kind of do a, a, a quick and easy uh, yard sign. <clears throat> so in this case, I'm going to pick on Pete and myself, and I'm going to print two yard signs. And so I just went in and filtered the records. And so I picked Pete and myself to, to do those two records. And now what I can do is I only have, let's say, 36 inch wide um, it, it heats, our water resistant heated matte vinyl. So in this case, I can select my 36 inch paper and now I can say edit with Canon Free Layout Plus. So I'm gonna say print and I'm gonna print those two records. So for example, if I were doing, um, let's say, like a Hall of Fame night or something, and I want to do really nice fine art paper uh, for my award certificates. I could quickly and easily do that, right? So I put Pete as the kicker. He's number 11. I'm number 99, the guard. Um, so I'm sending these two records over to Canon Free Layout Plus now. As you can see, Canon Free Layout Plus has launched. I've got it automatically. Uh, the last printer I used was the Canon uh, Pro 6100. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize that to the screen so you can see Canon Freely Out Plus. And now I can do a couple things. I can do kind of a fixed layout. I can also do free layout. I can do tiling and folded duplexing. But before I do a complete demonstration of Canon Freely Out Plus, what I want to do is, is talk to you about another piece of software. It's called Microsoft Office. And believe it or not, there's a lot of people that actually use Microsoft Office and they create some really neat things. And, and specifically, uh, Microsoft Excel um, 
is used a lot in, in a lot of different industries and in, in the people want to print from that application. So in, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and minimize this software. I'm going to minimize this as well. And I'm going to launch, uh, I'm going to launch PowerPoint. So, you know, believe it or not, PowerPoint can be, I'm just going to grab uh, this template right here that's available uh, from Microsoft. I use something called Camtasia. So sorry, I'll go ahead and uh, minimize that there. So we work off of this template. But if you take a look right here, within the toolbar, Canon Freely Out Plus shows up in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So it really simplifies the process for you to print from any one of those applications. So in this case, I just want to print this slide. I can click on this slide. And I'm not even sure the size of this slide, but it really doesn't matter because I'm going to send it over to Canon Freely Out Plus. So if I say print, it's now going to go ahead and send that slide over to Canon Freely Out Plus. And as you can see, there it is. Now, what's nice though, I'm in Freely Out Plus right now. I can cheat a little bit. Uh, I'm going to exit this. I'm going to exit Power, PowerPoint. Uh, I've got PowerPoint open twice. And what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to go ahead and say file open. And I can even go in, here's a calendar I created within Microsoft Word. I think this was just a Word template as well. I can grab this calendar template and say open. I'm not in Word, I'm just in a file folder. Now, if you take a look down at my tray down here at the bottom, you're gonna see the resources of Microsoft Word have launched to bring that in. And it's really, to me, one of the most difficult applications to print from is Microsoft Excel. So if I, I say file open, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Microsoft Excel document. Those are just little, I'm gonna grab, grab this loan memorization schedule. Um, you know, typically when I'm creating an Excel spreadsheet, I'm not using page sizes. So you can see Excel is launched, it brings that in. So now I've got four different documents to, to choose from. I can do something as kind of a fixed layout. So it, what it, you can see, there's my 18 by 24s, which we brought in for Pete and I. Um, you can also see right here, that PowerPoint slide. I didn't really add anything to it, but I can actually see the size of it. So that PowerPoint slide is 7.5 inches by 13.34. You know, really PowerPoint is now focused on aspect ratios of TV screens, right? This is probably an eight and a half by 11, which it is. Uh, this Excel spreadsheet, I have no idea what that size is. I'll grab that, that's 8.68 by 12.86. Um, so, you know, for me to print these out, it really makes it nice and simple to print these out individually. So all I have to do is say, I wanna fit these to the width of the roll. And I'll do the long side. So just that quick and easy, each one of these are set up to print. Now, what's unique about all the Canon Image ProGraph printers is we actually have the capabilities of printing edge to edge. So if I wanted to do this as kind of a poster, I can turn on my borderless printing. And there you go. Now you can see that white space is completely eliminated. It will now print on that media perfectly edge to edge. So I'm gonna turn my borderless printing off. I'm gonna go back, say yes. And so I wanna do free layout. So let's go back to my yard signs. I'm gonna de-click these and I can actually do something called free layout since I know I have that 36 inch wide media. And what I'll do is I'll just select both of these images. I can said select all and I can say rotate left 90 degrees. And then just that quick and easy, I can put them, oops, I need to set this up. In this case, I want borderless printing on. And I'll put them side by side, just that quick and easy. And I can set crop marks, uh, so I know where to cut them. And now I'm not wasting any media and I just kind of cut right down between the two of those, those images. So now I can do my 18 by 24. So if I click on it, you can see it is an 18 by 24 inch image. So it's just that quick and easy to do that. If I go back, uh, I can also use Canon Freely Out Plus. I'll grab a couple of eight by tens too. 
I can grab some JPEGs, I can grab PDF files. Again, I am still in that software. So I'll grab these three ladies, I'll grab those three eight by tens, and now it's gonna go ahead and bring those eight by 10 images in just that quick and easy. So, and then while that's coming in, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the PowerPoint. Oops, wasn't quite done. And I can do free layout, which are all smaller images. And I'll say fit this to width. So now I can see how it'll print each one of those out. And this is where it does benefit you, in this case, to go ahead and do a border. I can set up for crop marks. So you got the little crop marks there. Or I can set it up to do kind of a dotted line, which is a little bit easier to see. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can kind of come up here and under my options is I can add a little spacing between each one of them. So if I want to do like a quarter of an inch between each one, I can set that for 0.25. And then I just hit automatically put positioning between each one. So you can have a little spacing between each one if you wanted to. And one of the best parts about this software is I also have the capabilities of coming in. I didn't mean to move all the way down like that. And let's say, for example, this 8 by 10, I wanted to make it a little bit larger. I can go ahead and just simply grab that image. And you can see uh, the numbers automatically changing. So it's 13.53. I'll just move down just a little tiny bit. And I can go ahead and change the size of that really quickly and easily. So you can see, um, I want to go to 18 inches. And there you go, 18 inches, it's an 18 by 14.4. So you can actually change the sizes of images within the software without having to go back and redo that. Um, then we go back. And the next thing I, I wanna show you is, I'm gonna kind of take you to um, my desktop here. I'm go to my demo folder. And I have a photo in here, right here. And, and, and this is here at the office I'm at. This is really kind of a wall mural. This was a postcard, a 5'8 postcard. I live in Vermillion, Ohio. And, um, you know, the mayor was stopping in. So I wanted to do kind of a mural, if you will. It's almost a little bit, a little bit of wallpaper. I'm going to show you how quick and easy I did this. So it just takes a few seconds. So I scanned this postcard in and, you know, did this up on the wall. And what was kind of neat about that, so, and this kind of shows, if you will, kind of the process. I did this for something in the school when they were coming back after the pandemic, you know, adding the, the panels just like that, right? Um, you know, just kind of welcome back, uh, which was kind of fun to do. So one of the things I want to show you is, is within Canon Freelap Plus, I'll go ahead and grab that postcard as an image, I saved it as a really, I scanned it a super high resolution. Uh, I'll grab that. So it'll take a, a second or two, a little longer than normal uh, to bring in just because the file size is so large. Um, but it'll come in here in a second. So once that comes in, which will take a second, sorry, you know, sorry for the delay, I should have this one already open. Okay, we have that in, we can do tiling. So in this case, I use a 42 inch wide, you know, uh, repositionable media. And I'll click on this, that is what I want to tile. In this case, I'll just set up, and, and these are my only options. I don't have many options to choose from. It was a 42 inch media. I definitely want borderless printing on, and I did it on three panels. I'm done. There's nothing else I need to do. Um, the only other thing is right here is, is specifying the overlap. So you know, you have you, 0.59 inches is kind of an oddball size for overlap, but the world uses metrics, so it's really 15 millimeters. So if I say next, uh, it you know I've got peel and stick loaded in the machine right now, so it automatically recognizes is our peel and stick media. Um, if you take a look right here, you can see that overlap. You know, if I want to zoom in a little bit, fit to width. You can see that overlap of each one of these images just that quick and easy. And the last one um, basically is, you know, overlaps everything, the final. 
so you can see each one of those panels. I do like our vivid mode. I, I will tend to turn that on just to give it a little more. It's kind of like saturation mode, if you will, in, when you're printing, uh, when I'm doing these types of things, but you, you don't have to turn that on. Uh, I pretty much always print in standard quality. There's, you know, our quality and standard quality is really pretty amazing in for doing this type of work. So, um, and there you go. I mean, with that mural I showed you up on the wall, I had it printed and up on the wall in about 30 minutes because it's so simple to do, you know, especially with like less such fabric. I mean, it's it just, it's so repositional getting bubbles out. Um, while that first panel was printing, I just did a measurement on the wall. I did a couple pencil marks here, a couple pencil marks there to get that first one, you know, perfectly set up and boom, I was ready to go. Uh, I had that done before that, that first panel was done. And the last thing I'll show you here is I'll go ahead and go back is a really nice feature. Uh, uh, one more screen is folded duplexing. So with folded duplexing, you can actually grab a couple of images. So I'll grab this lady here. It's an eight by 10. And then I'll come on down. I'll grab her and put her on the other side. Say next. And just that quick and easy, uh, I've got two 42 inch so each one of these images is 42 by 52.61. The problem I've got with this is if you take a look right here, I'm gonna fit to width once once again. These images are like tightly cropped and, and LexJet actually had a customer that was doing this. Their their printer was down and LexJet's, you know, you sent me their, their satin fabric. It's a really, I don't know if you guys have ever printed on this, but it's amazing. It's one of my favorite materials. It's a satin cloth that they have. And I show it all the time. Um, I keep a little bit here. Um, so that satin cloth, this professional photographer was just using a simple doll rod and they were hanging up the bride and the groom in, in the hall. And they were hanging it, draping it over. And all they were doing is sometimes stapling or just using a paper clip at the bottom. It, it drapes over perfectly. But with this image, it's a really tightly cropped image. So if I'm using like a one inch doll rod to hang it over with some fishing line, I need, I don't want to lose any of that image, so I can maybe set this up as like 0.75 for my gutter, so that way I'm not losing any of the image as it's hanging over, so I can kind of fit that back to screen, so just that quick and easy, I can add a bit of a gutter. So really when you look at this image, so this top image is 52, 42 by 53.36, and this bottom one is exactly the same, so we're really printing something that's 42 by roughly 106 inches is how long this print is going to be. But having the ability to quickly and easily do these things is really, really quite nice. So, um, and so that really kind of concludes uh, Canon Free Layout Plus at this time. So, Pete, I'm going to go ahead and hand things back to you. Well, we'll open it up to questions. If anybody has any questions about Free Layout Plus, Sean. Thank you very much, Pete. Uh, one quick one, and sure. that is about uh, operating system compatibility. I know Windows. it's Windows only, correct? Windows only, correct, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Any other questions on this topic before we move on? Dave, how much, does now? Software, how much does this software cost? It's absolutely free. And, and, and the other thing, too, you see me opening up different documents. I'll show you this one more thing I think would think is, is it's really kind of important here. If I come here to my settings um, and I go to my uh, devices, and if I go to printers and scanners, Canon Freeout Plus shows up as a printer. So you can be in any application, any application, and print to Canon Freeout Plus. Very cool. Thank you, Dave. You got it. Oh.